Hello and welcome to Comment Comeback, the show where I go back to one of my older videos and choose a few of the more interesting comments to have a little talk about. This time we're going back to the 4chan video, which uh, has one of the most interesting set of toxic comments I think I've ever seen on one of my videos, it's kind of funny. I've got quite a lot to say about this one, so let's just get straight into it. Sounds to me like you are oversensitive and butthurt over someone calling you a new fag. New fag. Now let me make something clear, because I don't think I did make it very clear in the video itself, because this is one of the problems with every video having to be I hate blah blah blah, because I, I didn't really say in the video that the things that I pointed out about 4chan could also be the exact reason as to why someone might like it, because it is so extreme, it is so exaggerated and, and just silly. You, you can't really take anything seriously on there, and that's part of the charm. I I use quotation marks when I say charm because <laughs> there really is no charm on that website at all, but that, that's kind of the fun of it. The fact that there is there are no barriers, there, there is no... Nothing you say is going to be treated seriously, so you can just say whatever comes to your mind. You can just get it all out there. And I saw quite a few comments saying things like, oh, you're just oversensitive and you can't deal with people being offensive. And it's actually quite the opposite. It, re it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I don't really get offended by things, but when I see something that is offensive, I, can, I see who it does offend, so I won't maybe indulge in it myself, if that makes any sense. That is what you get if you want freedom. 4chan shows that you cannot have complete freedom of speech or else you get this. Also, don't blame the whole site. Look at A, C, L, G, B, T, A, D, V, etc. There are semi-nice people there. You're basing it totally off B and pole, and that is quite a fair thing to say because I, I really did just sort of base it on B, which is why I did change the title to B in the end, because uh, that's that's the thing everyone talks about, isn't it? When you mention 4chan, your mind instantly springs to B, and it's not like I did, a lot of people thought that um, I did just go there once, post two things, and base it entirely off that. I had been using it um, quite regularly just to sort of look at it and check, and I still actually go on it now and again now, because there are some just hilarious things on there, it's so inappropriate, so fucked. It is just so warped that it is pretty funny now and again. Although, it, with saying that, they, they do have a tendency of taking things just a bit too far. There's that line that they do enjoy crossing now and again, but I guess that's part of the whole anonymity thing and saying whatever the fuck you want. Nice opinion. Into the trash it goes. Every single post you see on 4chan is done ironically. Goodbye, faggot. I find it kind of interesting that usually I would assign, like, a comment a certain amount of worth or weight but <laughs> something like this, it's so obviously like a 4chan user that, you know, they, they've come here and commented on it. And <laughs> most of these comments, I just, you have to take it with a grain of salt. It's all just silly. It's all that that 4chan, like, counterculture that's really against everything. I know there, there is a lot of it that's done ironically, and that's, that's the joke, isn't it? Nothing, what is it, like, one of the rules is nothing should be taken seriously or whatever, and if you do take it seriously, you're an idiot. It's something like that. But that doesn't really dilute the fact that taking away that whole ironic thing, which is, eh, weird. I'm not gonna go into that, but it's still kind of horrible stuff, you know? Uh, it doesn't, even if it doesn't offend me, there are people that it is going to offend, no matter what you say, so simple as that. This is why I love 4chan, all in this video and the video. Not really sure what that last sentence means, but yeah, that's what I was saying briefly earlier, you know, that it could also be a reason for all the things that you like. Why you like 4chan it is a place you can go to just fuck about, be a troll, you know, just have a laugh, have an offensive laugh. But I can't stress the fact enough that it really doesn't, it doesn't piss me off at the fact this website exists. It's almost good. It's like a place where all these people can go to just express themselves with all these feelings they have, be them... Be them genuine or not, if even if it is ironic or not, they're still just saying it, and they're all on this level playing field where everyone's the same. That they're, they're all pretty much liars with these with these feelings of whatever, and they're all just free to just say whatever they want. It's almost it's nice in a way, in a warped, fucked up, disgusting way. Lol, faggot. You can you can only imagine how many of these I got. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. Fight, argue, and insult everything. Right, because that's not what the YouTube comments are like. I'll give you that. You YouTube comments. 
can be pretty bad. It can be atrocious, in fact. But there is a difference. I mentioned earlier there's like a bar of acceptance or whatever before it gets to just silly amount of offensive. I don't want to keep saying offensive because well, it is offensive, but, you know, not specifically to me um, always. But um, the thing about 4chan is you can post things which are illegal. That's not to say that it's not immediately going to be taken down or not, but there's still a lot of horrible things that you cannot see on YouTube. I mean, this is this is like gore stuff, you know, really extreme porn things. Just all this horrible shit, and that, that's that's the big difference there. Like, the the words, you know, the words are all innocent in themselves, and that's, that's sort of a different place to put it. But when it comes to the actual, like, you know, the pictures and all that horrible stuff that... They tend to post that's kind of a little bit different to me. So is 4chan basically the internet equivalent of the movie The Purge, only it's going on all the time? Yes. Yes, it pretty much is the digital version of The Purge. Wrecked Threads, the worst thing on B. No, that'd be you, James. That'd be you by a fucking long shot. He always sends me them as well. Fucking disgusting. I'm pretty sure 4chan is far worse than anything he even began to show in this video. And you're right, because this is YouTube and there's a certain level of thing that you can actually post on here without being flagged or taken down immediately. And if I even started to show any of the things that actually were in some of the threads that I posted, it would be taken down straight away. So yeah, I had to sort of draw the line there and there's a lot of censoring and stuff in the video from what I remember. And there were loads, because I did post those things on 4chan to get to get some nice um, examples of the things that people post, like shit posts and stuff. So, and there were a lot of, you know, highly racist things, highly weirdly sexual and gory things, and yeah, I just can't show it, and it's as simple as that. Thanks for this video. I'm too scared to visit the website myself. Now, I don't think you should be scared of 4chan. It's not something to be scared of. It's just fucking stupid. It's just a big joke. You know, it's where all these memes are made. It's where all these stupid jokes originate. And I think everyone should, should probably just visit it at least once. Maybe not B. Maybe you could find somewhere else that's at least, you know, somewhat useful to you in some way or another. But yeah, you should have, you should at least just have a little look. You know, you don't have to get indulgent in the culture like James has. And he's all obsessed and he speaks in the way that, you know, the 4chan lingo is, you know, keck and all that bollocks. But yeah, you should at least have a little look around and see what it's all about, at least. I mean, nothing against you if you don't want to do that, if you, you know, if you, if you don't like horrible shit, you know, like seeing horrible shit. Seriously, everybody can make a video on 4chan and just say the bad things. Get a life and stop having such a negative world view. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean that nobody should use or do it. And I think I'd, I wasn't trying to discourage anyone from using it. I mean, it's not going to anyway. Everyone's going to continue using 4chan in the way they are. And on, on the thing of just saying the bad things, the bad things are the good things. The arguments for 4chan are the things I said in the video, it's just flipped on its head. And it's still a perfectly sort of viable thing to say. Wait, people on 4chan think it is unique because they are anonymous? It's the same amount of anonymity on the rest of the internet. I feel like websites, depending on the website, you sort of have a different level of anonymity. Like on 4chan, everyone's on the same playing field, you know, because you don't have like followers or subscribers or any sort of name that you're associated to, where on like Twitter, for example, you have, sometimes you have followers and everything, but you still, obviously you still do get, you know, shit posting on there as well and people being vile and horrible and the same with YouTube and everything. But I feel like each, each um, website does have a different level of how anonymous you can be and are. But obviously th there is going to be that, that, that group of people that are like super anonymous and will hide everything. But, but unlike on 4chan for the most part, on Twitter and Facebook and DeviantArt and things, people do use their real name, they use it as a tag and things to uh, distribute their content or whatever it may be. And I suppose you do see that on 4chan now and again, but you're an idiot if you do that on 4chan. You can easily unblock yourself by changing your IP address. That's what I did. Now, is it just me or is there something inherently scary about everything posted here? Everything. Just from that profile picture to the name, it's like... <laughs> that's some scary shit. Looks the comments, why do most people think Tumblr and 4chan are the same? I really don't know where that where that comes from, because in my mind, they're pretty much polar opposites. On one side, you've got 4chan, where, where everyone just sort of hates everything, and, is, and they're all ironically hateful about everything, and it's all horrible. And then on 4chan, no, on Tumblr even, it's all like, 
about trying to be kind, I guess, and being offended by every single little thing that could even possibly be offended. And to tell you the truth, I, I kind of prefer 4chan over Tumblr in that respect. I went on a single board on a website full of many discussion boards, so that makes me qualified to say that the entire site is terrible. I expect he commented this before I changed the title, which is why I did change the title. And th- the reason is... I could have made like a an hour long video with like 10 minute segments on every single board that there is but I didn't want to do that cuz it's fucking boring for me. I want to move on to something else by then. And B is the one everyone talks about, the one that most people like think about and know about, so that's the one I focused on. So this is some meta shit. 4chan is jokingly believed to hate everything as well. Christ, you're right, that is, like weird, isn't it? It's hurt my brain a little bit actually. I don't see a problem with anonymity. It's called freedom. I will take my freedom and all the dangers it comes with. I hate people who hate humans when they are ones themselves. See, it's a it's a difficult problem, this whole anonymity thing, because first off, what what's the opposite? How could you really fix it? Everyone has to sign up with this weird w- one login for everything ever site that has your real name, like a real picture of you and everything. That would be... That would be weird, wouldn't it? You, and for a start, it would be impossible to enforce, and it's never going to happen, so it's not even really worth even thinking about, but it would be weird, wouldn't it? I think it it would change sort of everything. But then I think it is kind of important to have that anonymity sometimes. Well, maybe not important, but it is sort of a unique thing about the internet, something that it is a place you can escape to and be someone else whenever you want. I mean, that's pretty much what the internet is, isn't it? It's like, it is a way you can escape to somewhere else. And you can find somewhere to lie about, I don't know, how rich you are or some job you have, you know? That's a good point, the taking my freedom and all the dangers that come with it, because that is, that is kind of the, that's kind of the reason. But the thing is, if you put a group of people in, if you put all these people that comment all these things in a room together, Unless they're all these counterculture 4chan people that, you know, they they all talk like the way they do on 4chan in real life. They're not going to be as vicious as they would be online, maybe. Because that's something that inherently comes with being online. People being allowed to speak their mind while also seeing other people's unfiltered opinions is terrible. We need more thought police. Punish anyone who says anything offensive, even if it isn't a place where everyone expects such content to exist. However, you'd like half-chan now, they've started pushing political agendas and censoring people for being mean. First off, you're, you're kidding yourself if you think... If you think 4chan is this place where everyone goes to to be like... To express their inmost hidden opinions that they're too scared to say. It's a place for shitposting and joking about. I, I haven't seen... To be fair, I haven't gone on any of the serious boards or whatever, you know, but... Maybe on some of the more pop culture boards you can go there to have a opinion on, you know, something media-based or, I don't know, there's a politics one and stuff like that. What bothers me about this comment is how he's sort of implying that I want this, like, filter to be on the internet or whatever to punish people for being mean and stuff, and that I am super against censoring. It, it pisses me off whenever I see it anywhere, because to me, well, my motto is you can you can say or think whatever the hell you want, just don't be a cunt about it. You know, you're, you're, free, you're free to say these things. doesn't mean... I'm not going to think you're a douche for thinking or saying those things. But maybe before you do say those things, you should, have a, you should have a little think to see how it's going to affect maybe the people that you're targeting. But I really think that, that words in and of themselves are completely innocent. They don't have any intent. Like, an offensive word isn't offensive because the word of itself is offensive in the way that people use that word. The intent behind the use of that word that makes it offensive. Maybe when you're showing videos of babies being murdered and thrown about or whatever, maybe, well, obviously that's offensive in a different way, but... And maybe that should be filtered, because, you know, it's kind of fucking horrible. I love 4chan. It's the ultimate experiment in true free speech, and the human race would only know less about itself without it. That said, I thoroughly enjoy writhing in the filth of my fellow Anon. And it is... it can be this weird sort of stress relief thing, 4chan. Like, if you're ever feeling annoyed about something or pissed off, or upset, just go into 4chan and post a thread about something and get, start some really stupid discussion. Or go into one of those funny threads about something, you know? It's it's alright for that sometimes. I am uh, insulting and this is B-tard. What? Now, now these are the comments that I'm used to dealing with. I'm gonna report all your videos, you dish. This is one of those ones where I can't figure out if that's serious or not, because that, that looks like... I think that's some sort of pony, probably? And they're called Bieber Hater, so 
uh, it's questionable whether this is legit or not. Or maybe it is someone who's so young because they missed out. But I am, am gonna report all of your videos. Are you? I'm gonna. Uh, are you? Is it? Are you asking me? They didn't even say why. I was a douche. Show. Maybe they. Maybe they came from the bro pony video or something and are offended. I don't know. Nobody cares for your precious little feelings and your condescending tone, faggot. Condescending tone. I've never been, never been called condescending before. Am I condescending? Can someone tell me if I'm condescending? I, I don't. I don't mean to be. If I guess I can see. I can see why actually. Just thinking about it. Am I though? Really? I don't understand how any of your opinions are really worthy of hating 4chan, unless you have some kind of anger disorder. You don't have an anger disorder, but... So opinions have to be worthy now, do they? Is there a worthy meter that they have to have? You have, like, the worthy... the worthy wizard that has to sit there and be like, Okay, so that one's worthy, that one isn't. Your opinion... You're a worthy man now. The worthy wizard. I can't believe they just said that. The worthy wizard marks this comment, the freckling good comment of the month, or whenever I make these videos. So let's round this out with this profound, useful, and just lovely all-round comment. You fucking faggot. I don't want these new fags coming to 4chan. I'll find you, cunt, and slit your fucking throat. You fucking queer faggot, cunt. Obviously, that there's nothing serious to be taken about that. It's all this ironic bollocks and so on and so forth. But if, that, if, that, if, any, of, if any of that offends you, never go on 4chan ever. If that made you laugh, you should go on 4chan right now. So there we have it. That was quite a weird one, wasn't it? I couldn't really be quite as emotional, is that the word, about any of these comments because it was difficult to tell if they were being serious or not because of the whole 4chan thing. But yeah, you still had some more, you know, perplexing comments that you might not see normally, like on both ends of the spectrum, like the kind of ones that make sense and then the ones that are just funny stupid insults that make no sense. So what did you think? Were you expecting worse comments or better comments? Let me know. But anyway, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye!